Uh, we just have a bulletin here. CBS News has now called the governor's race for Governor Greg Abbott. Uh, if you look at the uh, numbers on your screen right now, Abbott leads 55 to 44 percent. That's an 11 percentage uh, race right there. And so CBS News has definitely called this race. So Governor Abbott going on to a third term here in the state of Texas, uh, beating back a challenge from Beto O'Rourke. And so now that CBS News has called this race, we feel confident, obviously, to join our network partner in doing so. It is official. And so I know we've talked a lot about this race. Um, but, you know, one thing when we were speaking earlier about uh, to the former Speaker of the House, Dennis Bonin, who suggested that uh, better or work is done in Texas. Uh, Sheriff, you were shaking your head no. Uh, why is that? Well, you, you can't get up and say somebody's done. Uh, you, I, I, don't, I, I don't think that's even... Uh, that three strikes, you know, my, my friend here, the commissioner, <laughs> just went like that to me, yeah. you know. Uh, but... But who else do Democrats have? Uh, you know, who could run a statewide race. You know, no one really came forward. <coughs> O'Rourke came forward last December. Um, and we have to continue to work on that. Or November, actually, it was a year ago. Yeah, but and we have to continue to work on that. We're not, we're not just going to lay down and say we're defeated and we have no one. That's, that's never going to happen. We're going to keep trying to, to, to come out and, and do what we need to do to get the attention of the people so that we can move forward. Uh, Commissioner, let me ask you. You're chomping at the bit. And, no, he's, I, and, he's, doing, I, and he's doing this to me. I said that earlier. <laughs> it, it's true in baseball and it's true in politics. Three <laughs> strikes, you're out. He's out. But once, they keep playing baseball. But once you're a loser, you're a loser. And he's lost three times. You know, I don't want to give unsolicited advice, but I will to these. <laughs> they keep trying to run for the U.S. Senate and for the governorship. What they really ought to do so that Michael will stop saying, because now I'm going <laughs> to say, you haven't won a statewide race in 30 years. My friends at down ballot are going to be mad at me for saying this. Go pick off a Supreme Court justice or pick off a railroad commissioner. It only costs you $2 million, $2.5 million, and be competitive and win one of those races so that you can at least change the narrative. There are a whole bunch of people that can run for the Texas Supreme Court that are Democrats or for the Railroad Commission that are Democrats. You're not going to beat us at the top level. It ain't going to happen because we are that red of a state and we can still raise ample money to be competitive. So go and fight on one of these lower level races.